it's time for um, our entertainment segment. And today we are talking about the art industry. Is there even an art industry? And if there is, is it being appreciated? And today our guest is a self-taught, renowned artist who has sold paintings to the likes of Will Smith. Yes, Will Smith has a painting of his hanging somewhere in his house in Los Angeles. And he's none other than Nana Ano. Good morning, Nana. Good morning. You didn't bring your sketch pad to sketch something for me and Ama this morning. Charlie, I... We're hoping that as we were chatting, you'd be, you know, just scribbling. <laughs> by the time we were done... I wasn't yeah. thinking right. You yeah. know, to be blessed to be seated between these two beautiful <laughs> women. It's not inspiration. But you, you, send, you send us some paintings, won't you? Bow, Miss. Bow, Miss. How are you this morning? Feeling good. So tell us about your craft. What are your ideals as an artist? What inspires you? Apparently, you do, you do a lot with uh, women. Yes. I grew up with my mother and my grandmother, especially with my grandmother, because um, and she did a lot with little. And the sheer resilience and strength uh, our women have um, has been an inspiration to me, yeah. Okay. So that's why there's a lot of women running yeah, That's through. why. why I try to highlight, or no, that's why I highlight women in most of my painting. Yeah. Okay. What kind of painting do you do? Do you do like um, those oil sculptures and things like uh, um, educators? What I started with watercolor, okay. and then migrated to acrylics, and then to metals and wood and glass. Yes. Metal. Yes. You know, we're looking at your artwork uh, on the screen earlier. Very beautiful. You mentioned the metal thing just there. Now, what I would see is literally a bit of, bit of rubbish, a bit of scrap metal. What is it that, you know, that what you can take something maybe scrap metal and turn it into a work of art, masterpieces, creations? How, how does that create, how does that process happen for you? Well, for me, they talk to me. Wow. So. <laughs> wow. You mean the, the, the scraps, the yeah. metal? The pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Yeah, oh, that. I am this and I am that. So all I do is just assembling or trying to piece it, piece together the messages. Yes. Wow. So that's wow. what I do. Mama, they speak to him. I love that. Okay, I mean, Sandra mentioned this. You know, the art, the art industry in Ghana. Most of the time, when you're at hotels, you see them display. If you go to the art center, is around. There's a lot of artistic people, but generally, in your opinion, do you think that art and artists are nurtured enough um, in, in in our Ghanaian industry? The lot of wonderful artists, but the challenge is. Is that industry? No, there's not, mm. because it's like a supermarket. Beautiful art is bundled up with stuff which is not art and shown on the same platform. And, and so that has been the challenge. And once you cannot curate or put the artwork in its right place, then the value goes down. Or people to appreciate, people to appreciate, it becomes a challenge. So that's the challenge we are going through as artists in the country. Not enough galleries to show the work, yes. And the hotels are, uh, I put it there like trying to do, they think they are doing us a favor. By giving the, as the it space. It actually rather enhances yes, the hotels. Yes, yes. So that is um, what we go through. Yeah. Okay. So Nana, is it a lucrative venture? I mean, is that your main job or you have a second job? Is it a hobby for you? Or this is what you do for a living? Um, these days it's been, it's IRS watching or Ghana <laughs> uh, Revenue Authority. I have to be very careful. They should switch off now. Um, <laughs> just uh, Art is very lucrative, yes. Because mm. um, it's very like expensive, isn't it? Yes, and so that's what I did. And once you're true to yourself, it will pay. Okay. It, it, it's, going not, it's not going to be easy. I've moved from step to step out of challenges, and I believe challenges arise to, to shape our movement and to move us to our destinations. Yes. Now, what, what is the most expensive piece you've ever sold? Hey. Or how much? <laughs> you're just trying to get an idea of um, how... I'm very sorry, I cannot put this on there because the, I don't have but the But it permission. can be very expensive. It can be. But Thousands it, that, of CDs? But, but you see, you are missing the point. Um, I cannot even put a value on the artwork. I don't put values on my, I have a, a special person who puts value. I just work and then she puts the value on, on it. Yes. Okay. And the money comes into your account. I think it, <laughs> I think it goes to her. Go, no, you get your uh, card. I get my card. Okay, but this is the thing. You've been able to 
you know, cultivate yourself as a, you know, a renowned artist. You're selling hey. however lucrative it is. But I'm going to talk. I want to talk about the in the business, so. but, but that's the thing. But you, you're you're a success <laughs> story. But then let's talk about the average artist out there. Maybe they're on the Bali beach. Maybe they're somewhere, you know, doing their craft. Um, and people are trying to haggle for it for maybe five CDs just to put food in their in their pocket. What, what is the step that I, as somebody who is creative, who is, calls himself an artist, can make from just making maybe crafts and painting for five, ten cities to getting displayed, to you know having people like Will Smith by their work? What is the steps you've been able to do it successfully? Um, I've been very lucky. God has pushed a lot of wonderful people my way. And so that's what some of us are trying to do, to more collaborations, and to inspire, they have to be true to themselves. It's not going to be easy. It hasn't been easy for me. I went into art because I was in a debt and I couldn't go to school because why I kept photocopying my last result. Each time I tried, they just photocopied. I'm sure they did that. They saw my name and said, no, no, enough. let's go for his result, let's photocopy. And then that pushed me into art. But it was a challenge. And even with my, what is the English word? From watercolor to metal was a challenge. I couldn't make frames, so I had to try. I couldn't afford frames. So I had to try and make my own frames. And now that's part of my business. I frame for other artists and I frame for other people. Wow. Yes. Like um, Amma just said, you're very successful. I mean, hey. Will Smith has one of your paintings. Let's not. Will Smith has one. Apparently, even the Obamas have one of your paintings. Michelle Obama. Obama. That was okay. a government commission. Anyway. Okay. okay. And, and that one has no money. Oh. But, 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 you, but, but it's, it's, it's still it's your work. work yeah. it's did you, did you get to present it to Michelle Obama? Oh, no. Hey, oh, but CIA yeah. won't allow that. <laughs> and there's also uh, one of your works hanging in the uh, Supreme Court building, just uh, the Chief Justice Office. Yeah. I think have a, you good, seen a it? good governance logo. Have right? you seen I have it? seen it. Ah. Um, yes, uh, but that one, um, I think, you see, that's a sad thing. We have most foreign missions supporting Ghanaian artists. Do you know, sir? UNICEF, um, the French Embassy, the British Council, and Ghana is nowhere in the picture supporting Ghanaian artists. And so that piece for at the Supreme Court was actually done by the German, um, it's not the embassy, their legal department. They had some competition and they donated the first prize to... To the Supreme Court? Yes. How does that make you feel that, you know, as a Ghanaian artist, Ghanaian, at least governments and Ghanaian institutions are not supporting as much as our embassies and uh, foreign embassies in the country and so forth. Because they've gotten it all wrong. Art has to be at the forefront. Here, all the developed countries have art at the forefront, but we have it not even at the background. It's not even seen at all. Yeah. So we've got it all wrong. If we get the mixture right, we will move forward as a people and as a country. I totally so, agree. so do you um, have exhibitions? Do you do anything that people can come to and admire or purchase some of your works? Um, uh, yes, I do. I, I just had an exhibition a month ago, but I haven't had any exhibition in a long time. I was just working and working on commissions for people, yes. Okay. Which one is more lucrative when you, have, um, you, you work on commissions or when you just put together your own exhibition and then sell it off? For me, when, when I have a commission, it's a bit challenging. But I have to challenge myself. But when you do something and also you hit the, the nail right on the spot or you get a spot on, it can be also be good, yes. Yeah. So, All right, so before we go, can you just um, give some advice or you know, tips to any emerging art, artist out there who they have up to, to you? Um, you have to be true to yourself. Um, you're going to come by challenges, but you have to push on. And paint your feeling or work out your feeling. That is the only way out. Okay, the only thing, looking at your beard right now, there's one other person I know who has the same beard, and if you're looking at it, Panji, and that's your brother. You have come yes. from a very artistic family, don't you? My brother with the other mother. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Well, my, I understand my grandfather was a surveyor, and my dad tried to go into that profession, but was pushed into medicine. And ah. so, yes. So, but, but you and Panji are represented. 
you see you're represented <laughs> something like that okay nanaba you, you uh, he has promised nanaba uh, uh, an artwork of manchester united so this is a bit of blackmail on there that he makes sure that nanaba gets it. and he promised should, us to as and well we've we been promised so, so we'll be, we'll be we'll waiting, waiting for that, for that. I deliver, I deliver. <laughs> thank you very much Nana, for thank you very much thank god you. bless you so that has been nana anoff come to share some of his experiences and his work with us um, regarding the arts industry in ghana